Hi guys, c'est Lily Plot. So today I will do a little video about uh, on the start your lens through DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I will not cover all the detail of video editing there. So at least I will share you a couple of tips that I learned. So if you have any comment or other tip to share, so uh, feel free to leave them in the comment. So let's get started. I'm always uh, starting from edit tab there. So you have the below tab. It's a normal process proposed by DaVinci Resolve doing video. They are doing more a film editor, I will say. So I'm starting from edit where you can simply add your media with import right click or you drag and drop your video uh, so you have the timeline there uh, with many video track that you would like after that you can go into fusion here it's a node base uh, generator or transformation modifier really powerful and then you can color grade you have the color wheel you have a lot of filter the color and the contrast of your video and then you can go to deliver where you will set the output parameters of your video you will add to the render queue you will get some job there to be rendered and you start the render with this button so just before on the start these shots um it was with uh, runcam nano v2 with the 1.8 millimeter lens so it's a really strong lens but uh, with micro under 150 gram it's really worth it and i really liked it so here uh, i would like to see how it could look with less fisheye effect so i will not start to unfisheye or undistort the more organic shot right away i prefer to start to undistort with more uh, straight line shooting it will help me a lot knowing what i'm doing uh, of course i will not try to undistort perfectly to get straight line everywhere uh, it will be more an artistic way to just unfish a little bit this full stage so let's say uh, we have a shot here so we like this video there if you start with this clip and you go to fusion right away you will add the tool from warp lens distort if you start to undistort your footage here you don't have anything because you are on another track that the one that you selected that's weird but i guess it's how davinci works it will take the first video enabled that it will find so it's why i'm disabling all the upper track and i'm letting the uh, first track to go to the fusion there so i will add a lens distort linked all together move just the window a bit to see more like this okay so from this node so i'm using often the this one and this one but it's up to you how far you want to on the start so this one i'll not explain all the slider but just play with the slider till you're happy so the problem there is while you're on the starting it on the start out of the canvas so it's a problem because more you will distort more you will uh, lose or just do it really blindly because you're missing a lot of information over there so i don't know if i want to keep some information above outside of the canvas so i will just start again by deleting or backspace this node i'll go back there onto my original clip and i will compound it i will like group it so i will do a new compound clip with it so c and this will be my ref frame so c for compound uh, because it will be more organized and i'm doing that because it will reframe it if i would say so i can go inside of it to go inside of a compound clip you open it in the timeline that's weird it, it's a weird action name but you open in a timeline and you just reach your original video so here i'm scaling just a little bit the original clip so to go back to your timeline uh, maybe there's another tip I, I don't know but I I just found that double click onto your timeline item there redisplay your main timeline so now you have the compound the compound clip is at 100% scale but your original is scaled down so now you can go to the fusion while being into the C reframe so the compound clip so we'll reassign the same warp lens distort the windows uh, didn't remember their place I don't know why so uh, this one or this one for now i will try to undistort with this one because there's more parameters 
So we just have to play with them to find proper way for you to understart it. So my ref frame would be better here. Also, um, little tip here, the sliders are clamped to some preferred min and max but often you can go further so just type with your keyboard higher value so it will re-extend the range so let's say i'm happy with these settings there good thing is i can right click to my node go to settings and save as this settings and then i'm going back i'm hiding my reframe that's my video i'll just start back i will delete my original video i will place it again here so i have my original uh, 4 tree video as i did before i would just create a new compound clip so that's my woods then i will go into it i will scale it just a little bit so if the scale is not the same of course the unwrap the distortion will not be the same so i'll go back to my ref frame i will enter it into my timeline so now it's the original scale so i'm dot 78 go back to my timeline into my video entering it to get the original so it was 0.78 then i can select my compound go to fusion add my node and go to setting and load my preset already saved Ta-da! and i have a well on the start 1.8 lens but not perfectly just like it's artistic so it's how so you see here all these trees there trees are not often straight but you see the fish are there just before and after stretch a lot but the center is untouched so now i will go back to my timeline and i will simply grab it so just adding this video frame i will keep it this look gorgeous so from your inspector you have the scale parameters there the position you can move your clip around uh, you can crop it so here i will crop the left so you see when i'm cropping the left i'm cropping the original video and the fusion the unwrap the on the start happens after i will compound it i will create another compound clip so here is my woods but undistorted so you have to reselect it back transformation values so you can scale it down a bit or scaling up and you can crop it as we just tried so you have to crop there if the slider is not good for you if you're going into the box there it's more precise Now you have your video undistorted but for me I'm flying with my old Ishin and it's a screen it's a box so my screen is a 169 ratio and uh, I'm recording with my run cam DVR uh, HDR not 69 ratio so it's why here I will uh, even if it will squash or squeeze some real shapes some real information shot i would prefer to just play with the ratio of the final video to respect more what i'm seeing when i'm flying so now it's a little bit slow if if you want to see the before and after you can go there and bypass color grade and fusion effect you see so you can see the effect that you just did so that's with and without the undistort so you see the propeller 
So each corner of the screen was stretched out and out of the frame, basically. Center doesn't move. So I will render it and I will let you watching it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.